So, you've won the election, the doors of 10 Downing Street and Parliament have swung open for you. You're feeling great, celebrations and pats on the back all round. But, what now? Well, now it's time to get stuck in because there's an epic to-do list. So what's first? Well, the role of the PM is to lead the team that runs the UK. As the head of the UK government, you meet world leaders and represent the UK around the world. You're also in charge of how the country raises money and how lots of it gets spent. One of your first jobs is to pick your top team, the ministers who form the government. You can hire people, sack people, and even create brand new jobs if you want. But you aren't in charge of everything. Power in the UK is shared out. Parliaments in Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland also run lots of things like schools, the environment, and farming. One of the toughest parts of being PM is trying to do what you want while keeping the support of as many people as you can. Every Wednesday, you go to Parliament for Prime Minister's questions to be grilled by politicians of all parties on what you've been doing. And trust me, that isn't a friendly chat. Also, the Prime Minister has a weekly meeting with the King just to keep him up to date. No pressure there. Oof. You also have to keep the public happy by doing what you've promised so that when it comes to the next election, they might vote for your party again. And remember, the PM is given their job by their party. So you need to keep your own side happy too. So while winning the race to get into Downing Street is one thing, staying there is another.